The traditional burial industry is coming under fire for not being environmentally friendly. Chemicals, caskets, steel vaults, all buried beneath us over centuries. One company has come up with a greener and more natural alternative, a burial suit made of mushrooms that help the body to decompose. Well, there's around 22,500 cemeteries just in the US, and we're told there's around 90,000 tons of steel caskets and all sorts of copper, bronze, chemicals, formaldehyde that are used, and it's all going right beneath the soil. Obviously, this is an ongoing thing. We're always going to have to bury people, and there needs to be an alternative that's more sustainable. So mushrooms, apparently, a suit made of mushrooms that goes around you that helps the body to decompose naturally back into the earth, apparently, is the answer. Yeah, uh, could potentially, you know, come in handy for a lot of cities like New Orleans, for example, and other places around the world that are like literally sitting below sea level. So every time there's a flood, there's risks of, you know, caskets and all these graves literally being unearthed and coming up. So I think you're right. It's not sustainable the way that we're doing this. And there's only so much land that we can uh, dedicate to burying people. Um, I've seen things on social media like that there's a thing where they can like wrap you up in something and then they put seeds in there and you kind of turn into a tree or something which is also a pretty cool idea I don't know if that's actually something people are working on you can't trust these stuff you see on Facebook but uh, I think it's a cool idea I don't know if I would necessarily want to do it but I think it's cool well there does there do seem to be a lot of alternatives now the burial industry the death industry is trying to come up with different solutions uh, more sustainable ways of burying us and also just more modern alternatives um, um, part of the reason for this one, though, was because last year the Center for Disease Control, they, they announced that uh, people are exposed to around 265 environmental chemicals, heavy metals. Some of it is because of things we eat that come out of tinned foods, for example. And these are all later released into the environment when the body decomposes. So these edible mushrooms, uh, strains of them, were tested by the founder of this company. They were initially tested on hair, nails, flakes of skin and apparently the spores the mushroom spores right. they just loved them they ate them up and uh, these these can be later released uh, back into the environment in a much more friendly way so over 2,700 people have signed up already here's a quote from one guy Dennis White uh, he's decided that this is for him he said I'd request that my body and death be buried not cremated incidentally cremation also requires around 28 gallons of fuel to burn the body so also a lot of carbon dioxide and other chemicals going into the air that are also equally bad for the environment. And he said that he wanted his energy content to get returned to the earth so that flora and fauna can dine on it in hey, the Joe. way that he's been dining on flora and fauna. Joe, what if I want to like preserve my body? So that like in the future when they're bringing people back, I could be good. Is there a way to like preserve? Maybe they can make like a soup for me made out of like Cheetos and Funyuns well, or like McDonald's food. So I, like I never go bad, you know? Well, that's something that people are doing with ice cryopreservation is preserving oh, one's body. Yeah, so there's just Cheetos. different methods people are coming up with for either trying to revive them into the future or at least bury them into the earth in a more sustainable way. Here's a quote from the, co from the founder of the company, uh, J. Rim Lee. He said, for every person who uses the Infinity Burial Suit, there'll be many more who witness the choice to return to the earth and to use one's body in a beneficial way. Cumulatively, this will help create a cultural shift towards a cultural acceptance of death and our personal responsibility for environmental sustainability. So we're seeing a change in the way people view death and the way people bury each other or in the way that we might look at how we might go on with cremation or stopping cremation or cryopreservation. But for now, mushrooms apparently could hold the answer.